full back stick. You can see full back stick here. Full back stick. We're dropping. The aircraft is completely out of control. I pull, pull back. I need to let go. I need the, the, the airflow to come over the wings. Look at that barber pole. It's all the way. The aircraft is in a deep stall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board Waypoint Aviation. Today, we're, uh, our video is going to speak about the speed tape. So initially, we're going to do some aerial work at 250 or 25,000 feet. We're going to do some lower just to show some other uh, protections and how the aircraft behaves. But our concentration will be on the speed tape. So some generic information to start off with is the yellow line here which indicates the current speed. There is an arrow and we're going to demonstrate now as we come to the low speed. You see the little arrow there is where the speed will be in 10 seconds. So if we don't change anything, power and altitude and attitude. The speed will be at this point where the arrow is pointing in 10 seconds. This is in all the Airbuses. Uh, it's indicated the same way. Uh, the number here is MAC, the MAC speed or your speed relative to speed of sound. And it comes up only uh, at higher level and higher speed. So you're not going to see it on the ground or at very low speed. All right. One more thing, as we come to the lower end, we're going to also look at the flight control page. So we're going to keep it displayed to see the uh, changes and the protections that the aircraft has as we put it into its limits. First of all, we've got here the green dot. So this is the green dot here, which is the best left over drag ratio for the aircraft. Normally, we always go to that as a minimum and we operate in the normal range so after the green dot is the VLS the VLS is a we try to stay out of it in normal operations because here the aircraft is has low energy and you don't want that it gives you less controllability and you're very close to this the stalls and the protections so we're gonna start reducing the speed now and we're going to see all the indications and the related protections from the aircraft. Initially, we let it take care of it. Then we're going to push it through that envelope and we will see what the flight controls will do at that point. All right, let's go. So, reducing the speed now. Doesn't matter what we put. We're just going to dial the speed down uh, for now. So as the speed comes, the autopilot is still on, the auto thrust is still on. So we expect the autopilot and the auto thrust to protect us here at certain points. And after that, we're going to start removing some of the automation and then we'll see the protections. And after that, we're going to remove some of the protections to force it into the other undesirable configuration. So as you see, the VLS is the first one here. And straight away we've got the thrust come up from the auto thrust to stop us going into the VLS as we explained the aircraft does not want you to fly there it's a low energy state that is undesirable for the Airbuses so let's push it so auto thrust will come off I'll take it to idle so that's thrust idle now it's coming back and there we go speed is bleeding so 10 seconds if we don't do anything it's gonna be there this is V alpha prot, so this is V alpha prot, and after that comes V alpha max, which is the red bar. So V alpha prot, V alpha max. There is a protection that activates here as well, in the middle. One of them is the alpha floor or toggle lock that will uh, kick in. Now the autopilot is still on, so it's maintaining to, to 25,000. Uh, but the air, it's bleeding down. Let's see what happens as it comes to V Alpha Prot. First thing, aircraft said, Thank you very much. You have control. 
I'll keep it at 250, so I'll put some back pressure here to keep it at 250. There we go, we've got alpha floor, so the thrust is although on idle here, however, we've got toga thrust there, and that's the first protection. See, as we come back from V alpha. Above the alpha prod, we go into toga lock, and from here I have to go and disconnect the thrust and come back to climb. All right, back again at 25,000 feet. So autopilot is off now. Auto thrust is off. It's a tidal. We're bleeding the uh, speed again. We're gonna take it all the way in. This time, when uh, we get uh, alpha floor and toga lock. I'm gonna disconnect the auto thrust again and we'll see how it goes. So here it comes. Keeping level, as you can see, we are increasing the uh, angle of attack. We're increasing the angle of attack just to maintain the altitude as the speed decays. So here we here it comes. We're approaching the alpha prod. I expect the protection to come in somewhere in there, and then there's another protection that will kick in because we are in normal low. So seven and a half degrees now. I'm pulling back, pulling back, keeping it there, pulling back. Ten degrees. Full back stick now, nearly. Keeping it there. Alpha floor, disconnect the auto thrust. Keeping full back, now I'm full back stick. Look at the, this is full back as you can see here. I'm holding full back, however, the elevators are pushing a little bit down. And the aircraft is losing altitude is pushing me down to keep me out of V alpha max or V max sorry so it's protecting me because we are in normal low indicated by the green it's pushing the aircraft nose down to stop me from going to a deep uh, stall and now we see flight control left side stick full calibration null zones and the reason is I'm full back but the elevator is saying no I'm not going to give you that can actually give you a little bit of forward just to uh, or just a little bit of back but it doesn't matter it's giving me enough to keep me out of the upper part. The moment I let go so I let go of the stick you see it's gonna push the nose down a little further the aircraft is doing a little bit of a dive and this is without any intervention no thrust speed is increasing and it will recover the speed. It will leave it there as the speed increases, of course, the nose will pitch up uh, normal aerodynamics and it will keep you out of it. So that's the second level of protection from the aircraft. Even if I disconnect the uh, alpha flow and toga lock, we will, it will still protect me again uh, from that. Next, we're gonna go into alternate low and we're gonna push the aircraft through all of that and let's see what happens. Okay, give me alternate low, please. Here we go. All right, thank you for that. So now we're in alternate low, protections lost. So looking at the PFD, we can see the uh, amber X's all over, indicating that we are in alternate low. Thrust is at idle, autopilot is off. We're maintaining 25,000 feet. We're going down. Bleeding the air, uh, bleeding the speed, and let's see what happens now. We're gonna take it all the way. So uh, we're gonna see the protection, and you'll see the magnitude of it. Now, because we're in alternate low here, you can see the alpha prot is gone. We have VLS and straight to the the stall. Uh, in alternate low, it's actually V-stall straight, so there's no V-alpha max. So, here comes the speed, it's 
coming all the way down, maintaining 250, I'm pitching up to maintain 25,000, seven and a half now. Here we go, stall warning. I'm gonna keep keep it there, even with the stall warning going. No thrust came, no alpha flow, no toga lock, nothing. Keep it going, keep it going. We're at 12 degrees. Pulling back, pulling back. I'm getting what I want from the elevator. As I push, pull back, I, it's giving me the command. 130 knots. Increasing the back, 15 degrees. Full back stick. You can see full back stick here. Full back stick. We're dropping. The aircraft is completely out of control. I pull full back. I need to let go. I need the, the, the airflow to come over the wings. Look at that barber pull. It's all the way. The aircraft is a, in a deep stall. So we need to wait and be very careful. See, I'm pulling a little bit back, very gently, nothing is happening. I need that air to come over the wing. There we go, I have a little bit of control now. Very gently pull it back or you'll go into a secondary stall, stall and bring it back to control. Doesn't matter what the speed does there, as long as you, 10,000. 10,000 feet we lost just to gain a little bit of control and that's with no panic no uh, wrong movements no left right putting input we're just being smart about it being calm about it and doing the right things and we still lost 10,000 feet it is very critical to uh, uh, not to get into that the aircraft does all the protections to stop you but in some cases you might end up there. So you really need to be patient. You need that wind and air to come over the wings to get back into the aerodynamics and get the aircraft out of the storm. I hope that uh, was clear and uh, informative. We're gonna go down to 10,000 feet and we're gonna go uh, look at those same protections down at 10,000. All right, we're back at 10,000 uh, feet here. We're maintaining high speed. And we've got here the higher um, speed protections and higher speed indications. Now, first of all, we've got the red barber pole, also known as the VMO, and that's the maximum speed. Once we get higher into the Mac uh, and into max speed uh, at higher level, this barber pole starts coming down and it becomes the maximum max speed or the MMO also called but the technical term for this is called the VMAX the little equal sign here is the actual protections that uh, the aircraft will give once you cross so autopilot is on and auto thrust is on first thing we're gonna check out is if we dial the speed up to 380 knots, we see the thrust starting to come back a little bit and to maintain just below the max speed. Now, any little bit of turbulence or bumps will put you in. Uh, so it's not a desired speed to fly at, but uh, the aircraft will do it by design. It will keep you there. If we remove the auto thrust, if I disconnect the auto thrust, let's see what happens. So, auto thrust disconnected. We get climb thrust. Now we cross the VMO, MMO. We get to the protection. The aircraft are pitching up, and and the um, elevator is commanded a little bit up. Autopilot is disconnected as well to recover. So as it recovers. I'm gonna put the auto thrust back in. Actually, we can put the autopilot, we can keep it quiet. And we're gonna go back to thrust idle, open the set. Okay, the last bit here in the high speed um, protections we're gonna use. We're coming down to 10,000. The auto thrust is on, so I'm gonna disconnect the auto thrust. I'm 
gonna disconnect the autopilot and I'm gonna start pushing down. As I start to push down or forward, look at the command. It's neutral. I have full forward stick, but the aircraft is in neutral for that. And the reason for that is to keep us not or not to go deeper into the high speed. Look at that. When I let go, the aircraft pitches back up. Well, we can't cancel unless we emergency cancel until we're back below the protection zone and then we're there. So the aircraft in normal low will protect you from diving in even with while disconnecting the auto thrust and pushing the aircraft down. 